baby? It began as any other day at Munson Medical Center for nursing assistant Cindy Schwartz Walters. How's your day been so far? Good. Great. Going about her day in her usual manner, with a smile. But it was one patient, a routine knee surgery, who would change Cindy's life forever. And this wonderful lady came in with a twinkle in her eye and a smile and was checking on me and taking care of me. And she was asking me all the appropriate questions. Among those appropriate questions, is there a qualified person to help during your recuperation? My son, he's very well qualified. She says, well, what does he do? And I said, he's a pararescue combat officer in the Air Force. And her face just dropped. She said, oh, honey. And one answer that would lead to a conversation neither of them will ever forget. And Signe says to me, oh, you have a son in the Air Force. And I said, yes, I have a son in the Air Force. And then I went, no, I had a son in the Air Force. Just 13 months ago, Cindy's son, Technical Sergeant Matthew Schwartz, was on his sixth tour in Afghanistan when an explosive device hit his vehicle and took his life. Matthew died on January 5th, leaving behind a family, a loving wife, three beautiful girls. Matthew Schwartz was just 34 years old. January 5th, a day Cindy could not get out of her mind. I kept thinking about who was taking care of him, who was, uh, you know, was he alive? Was he able to talk to anybody? But it turns out the answers she so desperately searched for were right in front of her, sitting by the bedside, Signe's son, Ryan. She said, uh, where did you say your son was stationed in Afghanistan? And I said, the Helmand province. He sits up and he goes, I was in the Helmand province. And Signe says, what was your son's name? And I said, Tech Sergeant Matthew Schwartz. The tears were coming down his face and he got up and I went to brush them away and comfort him and tell him it's all right, it's all right. Matt's in heaven, he's in heaven. Ryan, whose unit was tasked with the recovery and medical treatment of personnel in combat environments, knew Matthew. And he's holding me really tight and he's going, I am so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I told him it was all right, it's all right. And it was Ryan's unit that pulled Matthew out. What Ryan doesn't know is that we were told by the Pentagon that the group that went to rescue my son was not the normal group, but they knew Matthew and they went against their orders and went anyway. I feel oh, such a blessing to finally meet someone who was there is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Part of it is that it heals me and comforts me to know um, how strong mothers are, how this woman, her sparkle in her eye and her living on even though she's had the most drastic thing in her life ever happen. Sharing photos, tears, laughs, memories. And now a special bond that keeps one mother's son feel closer to her heart and the other a little closer to home. I think that God brought us together to hold on to each other.